Hi, I'm Dr. Leela Mohan. I'm MD physician. I mainly practice at uh, Columbia Asia Motherhood as a consultant in internal medicine. I have my own center called as Padidam Healthcare that is an HSR layout, Bangalore. So how to identify symptoms in uh, children? Basically nothing but it's juvenile diabetes. So we'll understand what is juvenile diabetes. Juvenile diabetes is nothing but it's called as type 1 diabetes. We know there are different types of diabetes that is type 2 diabetes and uh, LADA and uh, MODI. There are different types of uh, diabetes as in this uh, video I'll be talking about type 1 diabetes mainly which occurs in children. Usually it happens around at the age of 12. It's not only at the age of 12, it can occur at any point of the time since childhood up to the adult around 20 to 21 years. So this is also called as type 1 diabetes. So it mainly occurs due to autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder is nothing but our own immunity, our own immunity cells will go and destruct the, our own cells. So type 1 diabetes is nothing but due to autoimmunity and destruction of the beta cells. So basically what are these beta cells and pancreas? There are certain things called as uh, beta cells which are mainly present in pancreas which mainly helps in producing the insulin. So what is this insulin? Insulin is a hormone which mainly helps in digestion of the glucose and glucose whatever the food we eat it will get converted into glucose and it should get entered into the cells. The cells utilize this glucose and it forms energy for our daily regular activities. So now what happens because of the lack of insulin, why there is lack of insulin? There is auto destruction of the beta cells. Why auto destruction? That is an autoimmune disorder. It can be a HLA association or it can be genetic. There are many reasons. So due to destruction of these beta cells, insulin is not produced. Whenever there is an insulin in our body, the glucose can be taken into the cells. If there is no insulin, the glucose cannot be taken inside. So the glucose will remain in the blood. So which leads to hyperglycemia and there are certain things which can also called as a diabetic ketoacidosis. This is the where the diabetic ketoacidosis, the person will feel the symptoms. So the main symptoms usually in children which occurs until that uh, diabetic ketoacidosis occurs, any person or any parents or anyone will not come to know the boy or the girl, the kids are suffering with the diabetes. So when diabetic ketoacidosis occurs, so what will happen? Now the common symptoms in the children is like polydipsia, usually they feel really thirsty due to polydipsia and polyuria. Polyuria is nothing but uh, loss of urine, Here not only the increased uh, frequency of urination, the volume of uh, urination also occurs more. As the fluids will drain out from the body, the person uh, feels uh, more uh, dehydrated and so they feel to drink uh, more water that is called as uh, polydipsia. So what are the other symptoms? So other symptoms are lightheadedness or they will be feeling extreme uh, fatigability, weakness. Usually we all know the children will be playing outside in the ground and all. Once by chance if they fall down or if the wounds are not healing very early, all certain things can be a suspicion to the parent and then some people may feel uh, blurred vision that is also because of the diabetes so the kids cannot see properly or uh, the kids cannot read properly when they are sitting in the classroom or uh, if they are not able to see the board all should arise a suspicion of diabetes in the kids and then there are certain things called as uh, Peripheral neuropathy, that is also a complication where the kids will feel the numbness or tingling sensation all over the body. These are the major uh, symptoms and the kids will become dehydrated and they will not be doing their regular uh, activities, uh, the performance will not be proper. So all certain things should arise a doubt on a kid to take to a doctor and we have to check up with the sugar levels along with the physician. And so how do we treat this uh, juvenile uh, diabetes? There is no other treatment for the juvenile diabetes except uh, intake of the insulin. The insulin can be taken uh, subcutaneously. The physician will guide you very clearly. It has to be taken at the different sites. A proper counseling should be given to the parents and to the kids. And whenever they are eating food, uh, the chocolates, all certain things should be avoided. So the insulin pumps are the newer treatment which will mainly help in uh, reducing the insulin by not intervening the patient's education and the children's involvement. 
the insulin will be delivered directly into the body depend upon the sugar levels that is a newer technology we had been using since uh, many years so that is the ultimate uh, treatment for the juvenile diabetes